So in this video, I'm going to explain robot spherical configurations. It has one linear motion and two rotary motions. It has work volume like a section of a sphere. First motion corresponds to a base rotation about a vertical axis. Second motion corresponding to an elbow rotation. Third motion corresponding to a radial in or out translation motions. So these are the three motions. So two are the rotary motions and one translatory motions to cover the this spherical shape of the work envelope. A spherical coordinated robot provides a larger work envelope than the rectilinear or cylindrical robots. In the last video, you might have seen how the rectilinear work envelope is, looks like and how that cylindrical work envelope looks like. Compared to those uh, two configurations, this spherical configuration is having the um, larger work envelope. It reaches the more volume of area compared to the earlier two configurations. Now, let us uh, see that uh, minute I want to take the pen for better understanding. Now you can see that here, so this is the end effector of the robot, end effector of the robot. Now you can see this one is the base. On the base, this entire, it will have the rotations like this. It will have the rotation in both clockwise and anti-clockwise. In this entire, this uh, uh, unit, so this link and this link and end effector completely, it's uh, revolving about this uh, vertical axis. This is the vertical axis. About this vertical axis, it's having the rotations. Okay. And, and also, here, uh, this lever, this lever also moving um, in this direction, moving about this axis. So this is a, another revolution motions in this arc fashion. Now it will cover this portion of the workspace, to cover this portion of the workspace in this circular fashion with reference to this, the circular movement of the uh, link. So this, this is the one is the the um, entire the setup is uh, revolving about this vertical axis and this will uh, move in arc okay about this axis which is perpendicular to this vertical axis in the arc shape that is the sphere shape will be obtained and another one is this link this link having the translatory motion in and out this uh, link is uh, having the translatory motion in and out that will cover this entire uh, space. You can see that uh, this entire uh, work volume in a spherical manner that will be covered uh, in and out. This is the inner limit and this is the outer limit. Now you can see that for better understanding, you can look at this diagram. Now this is the manipulator. Okay. So now you get to see this is the vertical axis. On the vertical axis, it's having the rotation. It may be rotating in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction so that the end effector will cover in this circular fashion. The end effector will cover in this circular fashion like this. Okay. And uh, this uh, the rotational motion that is in this uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise that will move the end effector in this direction. So that is it will cover this entire uh, this portion of this shape of this volume will cover with the help of this moment. And this translatory, this end effector will move up outwards and inwards that will cover this portion. So this is the for outer circle and inner circle. This entire, this is the entire is called as a work volume. On the circumference 360 degrees, this work volume will uh, cover. So, in order to uh, do the lot of applications, this spherical robot is uh, more important compared to the partition and the cylindrical configuration of the robots. Now, let us see for better understanding. Uh, I want to explain uh, the, the, regarding the simulation of how it will be works. This one you can see that. Uh, so, this is the it will move. Uh, in a circular fashion, okay. So this entire uh, the device will move. Uh, this entire device will move in uh, rotating about this vertical axis. And there is a translatory motion. You can see that uh, it will uh, covers the in and out uh, of that uh, spherical uh, volume. So with the help of these translatory motions, 
and another rotation this another rotation this entire this arm will uh, having the oscillation so that uh, circular uh, circular fashion it covers for the truncated sphere shape it will cover this entire uh, the work part well. now look at uh, this uh, the manipulator uh, this is for the spherical robot configuration now you can see that uh, this entire uh, this setup will uh, rotate about the space okay this is the one rotation that is a rotation about the vertical axis and uh, this one this one uh, is uh, rotating about uh, this uh, perpendicular axis okay so this is uh, moving in odd fashion this like this it, it will move and this is having the translatory motion okay so with the help of these three motions that is the two rotary motions this is the one rotary motion this is the second rotary motion and one translatory motion it will cover the more work envelope in a spherical uh, shape in a spherical shape. So a spherical robot also known as a ball board is a unique and innovative robotic configuration designed to move on a single spherical surface. A spherical robot balances on a spherical ball like structure allowing it to move in any direction without the need for complex mechanisms like wheels or legs. So the spherical robots are well suited for environments where traditional wheeled or legged robots might face difficulties such as uh, crowded spaces, uneven terrain or environments with obstacles. So they have been explored for various applications including indoor navigation, human robot interaction and surveillance. I hope everyone understand the spherical robot configuration the different possibilities of work in this video. We will see that next configuration in the next video.